Hey guys, welcome to another Druid video. I'm a Knight of Druid on the Whisperwind server. And today, I got a nice little item, even though it was a very hefty price, of 7.5k gold. What the item is, is the Battered Hilt. Now the Battered Hilt starts a quest so that you can get various good uh, 251 item level weapons. And for a Druid, that's one of the best weapons for a Druid tank before you hit ICC 25. And so uh, I start the quest for the Battered Hilt and it tells me to go south of the Battered Hilt to Quell Dalar's Rest. And so here I am and I go to the Alliance area or the Alliance side and I complete the quest and it asks me to go to the Wormrust Temple at the very top floor to find out the information on the Ancient Swords. And so once I talk to the guy, he tells me that someone has already come from Dalaran asking for information on the Ancient Swords and that the book has already been lent to this person. And then this other person comes out and says, are we sure we want to tell them about the Ancient Swords because they could use it and corrupt them. But the Dragon Queen says, don't worry, let's trust them. And so they do, and now we have to go find further information on the Ancient Swords and who actually took the book. Now let's go over to Dalaran. And in Dalaran, in the Silver Enclave, in the Alliance side, at the top floor, you talk to the Arcanist, something something, I can't read his name, and he tells you that the Sun Reaver, which is the Horde side, has taken the book and so you have to go and kill one of these agents in the underbelly which is in the sewers of Dalaran take the Sun Reaver orders and then run out and turn in the quest now once you're back here you uh, give in the Sun Reaver orders and he tells you that you need to infiltrate the Sun Reavers and you can't do that without a tabard of the Sun Reaver so what you have to do is come to this guy uh, in Dalaran near the center and you have to complete this quest for him. And all you have to do is put in the right clothes that he asked for at the right time, much like uh, the quest in the Sholazar Basin where you have to make that uh, alco alcoholic drink, I forget what the quest was called. But put in some pants, some shirts, some unmentionables. And after all that's done, you'll be able to loot any time now. There we go. The Boro Tabard. Now go back, turn in the quest. And once you accept the next quest, you'll be turned into a Blood Elf. Now, interesting fact. If you're a Druid, then you could stay in the uh, Blood Elf form, but still be in your Druid forms. Such as, I am right now a bird. So you can also be cat, bear, whatever you want. Now we have to run into the filthy animal or yes, that's exactly what it's called. Uh, the filthy animal in the horde section. And you talk to, where's this guy? Magister Harborel. Now talk to him and he will give you uh, some urgent delivery that he had for the ancient, ancient Blades. And so after you get that, you go and turn that quest back to where you first got it, in the Silver Enclave. Man, a lot of running. All right, once you turn that in, now you go back to Queldalar's Rest. And once you complete this quest, make sure you turn up the volume to listen to some nice little cinematics. So Blood Queen Lanathel comes out and says that the Queldalar was given to the High Elves of the time, now Blood Elves, to uh, defend against the Scourge. Uh, and they were given to them by the dragons, the ancient dragons. And unfortunately the carrier of Queldalar fell when they fought the Scourge and so she took Queldalar to Northrend and she broke the sword and you can no longer use the sword anymore. Now after uh, that 
cutscene goes or finishes, then you accept the next quest and they'll tell you to go to the Pit of Sauron, where you have to collect these infused Saronite bars. Now there are plenty of these infused Saronite bars, so after you get 5 of them, then you will go back to where you fought uh, Forge Master Garfrost and go to one of the anvils. Use the hammer that you got from uh, Forge Master Garfrost and then you'll be able to reforge Queldalar. Now you have to temper the sword and for that you need to go into the Forge of Souls. So I queue up in the Forge of Souls for both normal and heroic, whichever one I get first. Now after you kill the second boss, you go to uh, the Crucible of Souls and you throw in the sword and now you have the next part of the quest. Now you have to go into the Halls of Reflection. Now you don't need a group for this, but it helps. Once you get close to the, uh, the center where Frostmourne is, Uther Lightbringer will come out and says, don't come any closer. And once you get closer, the sword will jump out of your inventory and you have to fight Queldalar. And it is an elite, so you need to be pretty good to be able to kill him. And for me, I was in a group, so that was easy. Now, uh, Uther tells you that the sword is currently evil and you need to go into the sun well to cleanse it. And so after you turn in the quest, you have to go back to Dalaran and then go through the uh, go through the portal into Outland, Shatrath, and then through Shatrath you can get to the Sunwell Plateau. Now, right at the entrance of the Sunwell Plateau, you talk to this guy over here and he tells you that you need the blessing of the past spirit who welled uh, Queldalar. So you run down to the south of the map, right there, and you talk to him to start the next set of quests, or next quest. Now, uh, this soul will relive uh, when he died, and he asks you to help him defend the Sunwell. And so after a few waves of common and weak enemies... Okay, those are done, and now... These guys. You know, I can probably kill these guys faster in cat form. So let's go into cat form. Now you kill the Molin Cold Cold Grip. That's it. And then he, uh, the spirit, says that I wasn't supposed to survive the attack, and that Queldalar has chosen you as his new owner. So now you can go back and turn in the quest, and you are able to go into the Sunwell by talking to one of these guards outside the Sunwell, the Warden of the Sunwell. And once you talk to him, you are now in the Sunwell Plateau and just run down to the very bottom where the Sunwell exists. Now go into the Sunwell and use the Queldalar Sword. Now as soon as this happens, there will be another cutscene, or a just a scene rather, where the uh, captain of the Sunwell tries to grab the sword. Unfortunately, he's blasted away, and we are now told that the Queldalar chooses his owner, and it's not chosen. So, uh, the Queldalar has chosen us, and we take the sword and leave it, uh, leave the Sunwell back to Dalaran. And here we are back in Dalaran. Now we fly back into Queldalar's, re Queldalar's rest and to turn in and accept the last quest of this series. Now there are a few different maces that you can get for Queldalar and what I want is the uh, Lightborn Spire. And so there is the Lightborn Spire which is what I want, one of the best uh, tanking weapons for a bear before Ice Crown Citadel. And after you complete the quest, you get the achievement, the Sword in the Skull. Alright, now let's see the nice little weapon I got. Lightborn Spire, which is much better than what I currently have. And now my gear score is 4983. 
And so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and take care. Till next time. Hey Jimmy53, I just like to say that I love you. That's right, yeah. I love you. You know what you did for me. Yeah, you're just that late. Subscribe!